Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Yes, I sound like a guy because my throat hurts like hell, but I still really want to do this giant unboxing video. I have about five to six packages for you to unbox and I just thought let's just put it all together because otherwise I'm gonna have so many unboxing videos at once. Even though I like that, some of you guys might not. But in this video I have a fairy loot box, I have a fandom scented candles, I have a book from Amazon, plus I have so many Funkos. I, uh, I went a little cray cray, so let's open them all. And first off, I'm gonna start with my fairy loot box. Okay, it's upside down. So this is the, what is it? October fairy loot box, I almost said November. And I don't remember what the theme is. The only thing that I do know or remember is that this one has two books in it. It has a special edition of Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. I've only read one book by Lee Bardugo, but who gives a shit? And of course, another book and awesome bookish goodies. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to buy the November box, which was so extremely popular because it also has two books in the box. It has like, what do you call it, an arc in it as well. But that's not the box that I have here with me right now. I have the October box. Let's open it. Woohoo! Okay, so here we have the spoiler card and the theme was villainous. I forgot, I totally forgot. But look at the artwork, that looks so cool. It has like a sword made out of green flames. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ooh, oh my God, I see another Santa candle. Wow, this is a really, really big one. This is from Meraki Candles and I've seen this company on Instagram a lot. And this one smells like Maleficent. So this is the villain from, um, what's her name again? This scented candle is supposed to smell like jade, orchid, and lotus blossom, so I think it's gonna smell really flowery. Ooh, it's green and it has purple glitters. Oh, it's really fresh and it smells really nice. I usually don't like flowery scents, but this one smells just... <coughs> this is what I have to deal with, oh my god. And not like um, too heavy or anything like that, and it's a really, really big tin. Um, oh, it's called Aurora, oh my god, right? This month, we paired up with Meraki Candles, one of our favorite creators of soy candles. The exclusive Maleficent candle is the perfect candle to light whilst you enjoy our Felinus book of the month, Evil Laughter. Oh my god, this looks so good. Oh, I've seen this on other Instagram posts. So this is a Death Eater pin, I'm pretty sure. What's more villainous than a Death Eater? Not too much, we'd say. This exclusive Death Eater enamel pin was made for you by House of Wonderland and is the perfect accessory for your jacket or bag. I've seen this on someone else's Instagram and it looks so cute. And it has like a green snake with like so many pretty glitters in it and I really, really like this pin. Next up, oh my god. This is, I think, it is a magnet? Oh no, it's a mirror. So let's get it out of the package. Um, it says, everyone has darkness inside them, however hidden. The Young Elites by Mary Lou, so I have not read The, Long the Young Elites by Mary Lou. I've read her Legend trilogy and really enjoyed it. Um, and this is a tiny pocket mirror, which is always nice to have. Oh, hey, it's you guys. Keep your villainous complexion immaculate with the handy exclusive hidden darkness pocket mirror designed for you by Little Inkling Designs. It features a quote from The Young Elites by Mary Lou, uh, which we thought was pretty fitting for a pocket mirror. So I'm really, really interested in reading The Young Elites because it's supposed to be like a villainous trilogy, something like that. Oh my god, man, my voice, it hurts so much. But I think that this is perfect to take with you in your <coughs> bag. Always nice and handy to have this. Yes, I needed a coaster. This is amazing. Every fairy tale needs a good old-fashioned villain. Say your mug down on the exclusive old-fashioned villain coaster inspired by Moriarty. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that and I'm like the biggest Sherlock fan. Oh my god, this one, this makes it even better. Why did I not recognize that? Um, it was designed for you by EVCO and we couldn't agree more with this quote. It is definitely going to brighten up your coffee, dining table, or desk. This is perfect because I have a Sherlock mug in Utrecht where I study and have my dorm and I needed a coaster because I constantly keep getting like these weird circles on my desk. Now that I know that this is for Moriarty, oh my god, Ooh, what is this? I think that this is um I think that this is something that has to be with uh, language of thorns. This is a print. If I cannot move heaven, I will raise hell. Where is this from? It sounds kind of oh, make way for this stunning art print by EVCO. The exclusive raise hell print features a quote from the. I got my Funkos. I hear I hear my dad. 
let's grab it. Oh my god, you guys, I got, oh Jesus Christ, I'm so enthusiastic. I got another package. Oh man, I have, I bought too many things. Let's continue with the fairy loot box. The exclusive race hell print features a quote from the Ainite by Virgil, a Roman poet. Oh, know that. The original is of course written in Roman, but you might be familiar with this quote because of Sebastian Morgenstern from Cassandra Clare's The Mortal Instruments. Wow, it- oh, wow. Okay, so this is, I think, a print or like a promotional card for Night of Cake and Puppets. Puppets, which is, I think, oh, it's a Daughter of Smoke and Bone novella, which is, has a beautiful, beautiful cover. And I already have Strange the Dream- Strange the, Dream Strange the Dreamer, I just haven't read it yet. Um, life doesn't need magic to be magical, but a little bit sure doesn't hurt. I think this is from, um, I think this is from A Daughter of Smoke and Bone, but I'm not too sure. Oh my god, look at this one! Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo, and I think that this is an exclusive version, and with a normal one this is all like orange. And I have only read Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I haven't even read the Six of Crows duology, so I'm really, really bad. But I still was like, I can't say no to two books. And oh, these blue papers. Oh my god. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so that was book number one. And now let's continue to the actual book in the Fairy Loot Box. Book number two. I have absolutely no idea what book it's going to be. So I'm just going to grab it out of here. Oh, it looks pretty from the inside oh my god what is this i totally don't know this book forest of a thousand lanterns by julie c Dow. okay so i'm not gonna read the synopsis of this book because i have to save my throat a little bit it has a snake on the cover with like a beautiful flower and this is rise of the empress series i don't know if it's a trilogy or a series but it's book one. Oh wow look at that so i have not heard of this book at all. That is really exciting actually. Usually I really like to know what book is in all, in the box, but I have no clue. The book is a beautiful evil queen from Snow White retelling set in Eastern Asia. Okay, so that sounds really exciting. So that fairy loot box is really awesome. Let's open package number two, which is Santa Candles, and I don't know from which company it is because I ordered uh, Santa Candles from two different companies. Ooh, so there are a lot of peanuts in here. Ah, okay. All these peanuts. I'm gonna have to clean my room after this because this is not okay. Um, doing it a little bit differently. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm here. I'm really, really excited because this is from a different company that, that I've ordered from before. It's from Happy Piranha. Look at this business card. That is adorable. Plus they gave me Jelly Tots candies, which is, I know that this brand is like typically UK because I've um, eaten Jelly Babies from this brand, I think, before with Karis last year. And these are three Harry Potter inspired candles. Oh man, I'm so excited about this. Oh wow, these tints are actually really big. So this was a three candle combination special thing on their website. So I bought these three candles for 21 euros which is still quite expensive, but they're like handmade and inspired by a fandom. So, whoa, wow, these are, these are big, big tins with candles. Okay, so this one is called Polyjuice Potion. Look at how big that is. You'd probably think it's really small, but it's actually really, really big. I don't even remember what the smell was again. Let's open it. Wow, that is black. Oh my God, oh, I think I remember. These is, this is supposed to smell like amaretto cookies or like it's supposed to smell like almond liquor something like that which i'm gonna just quickly go through it because you guys can smell it and i can and i just can't keep on smelling this but let me tell you it smells like almond cookies and mm, so good so the packaging of these candles like on the tins is so amazing oh this is the chocolate frog one which really intrigued me because look at this again the packaging so stunning i think that this is supposed to smell like chocolate and orange i think again black candle it smells exactly like chocolate and orange. Oh my lord. If you like that scent combination, you have to absolutely get this candle. My heart is so happy right now. And then this one, oh, I'm really excited about this one. Is Ogden Old? I don't even remember what that is from Harry Potter. I've only read the books in Dutch, so I also can't really, I don't know the English names for things. This is, I think, supposed to smell like cinnamon which is one of my favorite scent, uh, scents for like candles. Again, black candle. 
I am so happy right now. Oh man, this smells really, really good. This is what you want to smell when you are so cozy reading your book, drinking some tea or something else. Maybe some people even sitting by the fire. This one is such a good combination for that. So happy Piranha, these candles. I'm blown away by it and I am so excited to burn them. I will leave a link in the description so you guys can see this company on Etsy and check it out because these Harry Potter candles are absolutely amazing. Oh man, this is... There are gonna be so many things on my bed right now. Next up, I have a package from Amazon and if you guys can see like the size of this package and you have, you know, you've lived in the past month you can kind of guess already what is in here. It's not going that smoothly. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for so long. <sighs> I'm currently reading The Deathly Hallows. Tonight I'm gonna watch the movie. I am in such a big Harry Potter mood, especially with the candles and the Death Eater pin. Oh, this is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, illustrated by Jim Kay. This is the prettiest cover of the illustrated books, in my opinion, until so far. I just love the purple and the night bus. It looks so cool, and it is the biggest one until so far. I'm not going to look in for the illustrations because I kind of want to keep them a surprise for me when I'm going to reread the book. Oh, plus, look here on the back. I don't think that you can see it, but here is Sirius. I cannot wait to reread Chamber of Secrets, the illustrated edition, and it's like right there, and read this one because... Ugh. I'm so excited. Next up, I have so many Funkos. I ordered way too many. So the first one, okay, this is crazy, guys. There is only one Funko in this giant box, which I think is a waste of packaging, but it's a really exciting Funko. I mean, guys, take a look at this. Are you kidding me? This is one of the new Funkos from the Stranger Things line. It is my man, Hopper. He's one of my favorite characters from the show. They brought out five new um, Funkos from Stranger Things and I want to get them all so badly. I'm gonna do something with all of my Funkos in this video that a lot of collectors won't like. I'm gonna open them. Look how adorable he is. This is crazy. Oh, I'm ruining the package. I ripped it. <laughs> Look at my man Hopper. He is here with a donut and the coffee because mornings are for coffee and contemplation. <sighs> this is such a cute Funko and he's one of my favorite characters from Stranger Things. He's just such a sweet, loving man who wants to do everything for, for like his citizens in his little town. And I'm gonna put him right next to Eleven and the Demogorgon. Stranger Things, guys, is one of my biggest obsessions. Especially now that I'm currently re-watching season one and today on Friday the 27th of October season two came out But next week I have finals So I'm gonna have to study and try not to watch season two in one go So I'm really trying to re restrain myself and then the box that just came in are four other Funkos I know guys I am crazy I was just looking on this website and they had like 15% off plus they had like really awesome Funkos and I just I lost it I totally completely lost it. Woo, look at this. I'm gonna go through this r rather quickly. Mm, okay, I'm so excited for this one. They brought out so many new Harry Potter Funkos and this is one of them. Luna Lovegood with a lion hat when she's like supporting everyone. Oh my God, for like the Quidditch thing. Wow, the lion hat is ginormous. So sorry, I had to charge my battery a little bit. I have 7% right now and the internal heating was way too high. I got all the Funkos out of the box. Let's continue with Harry Potter because this Luna Funko, look at how adorable this is. This one is just so adorable and I just needed to have it because it looks so unique. Next up, I have a, <coughs> a Harry Potter Funko, you can already kind of see it, that I just absolutely needed to have because he is, if not my favorite character of Harry Potter, one of my favorite characters and I saw it on the website and I already had three Funkos in my um, shopping cart I was like I actually really need to get him it would be a shame if I didn't and that is Albus Dumbledore and I definitely prefer this Albus Dumbledore over the I think that's like the original one I do prefer Albus Dumbledore like the first actor of the first two movies 
um, but Funko wise, I definitely prefer this one. Not that the other actor from Elvis Dumbledore does not do a good job, he's just a little less like you would expect Dumbledore to be, but oh my god, this Funko is so cute. Plus he has the Elder Wand and I have the Elder Wand and I love him in his purple gown. You are so cute and I'm so happy that I can put this one on my shelves right now. Plus he has like tiny glasses, which is adorable. That's Funko number two and then I have two Funkos inspired by Stranger Things because I couldn't control myself. Let's open the, it's not the least exciting out of the two, but it's a little less special. So this is Dustin, ah, uh, and Dustin again is also, I love basically almost every single character on Stranger Things, but he is just so quirky and so funny. Ever since I saw that there were Stranger Things Funkos, I have really, really wanted him. So now my Stranger Things Funko family is, I think, the biggest one. Maybe Harry Potter and Stranger Things is just as big as each other. Look at little Dustin. I love him with his hat. He kind of looks like a Pokemon trainer, and he has his little compass, and... Ah, oh, Dustin, why are you so cute and so funny? Let's put him next to my growing... Stranger Things Funko family. And then this is, I, I'm really, really excited about this one because this is an exclusive Funko, which I found for very cheap, actually. I think if you buy this one new, it's worth about 25 euros, but I got it for 14. And you, I think this is really hard to get. I don't think it's like a regular Funko. It's Steve. It is a summer convention exclusive. So is this from like San Diego Comic-Con? I don't know, but I think he is so Awesome. I mean, it's such a unique Funko. It's not that easy to get. Plus, this is one of the most iconic Steve scenes from Stranger Things. I don't know if I'm Team Steve or Team Jonathan. I like them both, actually, but Steve is, of course, a little bit better looking, so... Um, but look at how awesome he is. He has his bat with, like, the spikes on it and the blood. I'm re-watching season one, like I said, and I am at this point in the storyline again, so this mm, brings back all the memories. He grew into this really awesome character in season one, so I hope that he's still awesome in season two. But this is an exclusive Funko, so that made me really, really want to buy it. Um, yeah, I have so many Stranger Things Funkos right now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Please let me know if you have any of the things that I've gotten in this unboxing video today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, especially because my throat is a bitch today. And subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!